And now we will learn how to record depositing money from another bank account. You could also call this bank account transfers. A deposit can be only one of three things. Income from a customer or client from the normal operation of business, or what we learned about in the prior video, investment from the owner. But in this video, a deposit will be a transfer in from another business bank account. For example, if we want to take money from our Chase Bank and transfer it into our T&M Bank, from the point of view of Chase Bank, this is a payment and it will be recorded in the payment column. But from the point of view of the TNM Bank, this is a deposit and that very same transaction will be recorded in the deposit column. So, when you record transfers from one bank account to another, you have two options. If the money's coming from Chase to TNM, you could record it as a check or payment from the Chase Bank register where the money is coming from, or you could record it as a deposit in the TNM register where the money is going to. It doesn't matter. As long as you properly record the transaction in one of the registers and put the proper information, QuickBooks will automatically copy that same transaction into the other register and it will be correct. For example, let's imagine on July 6th Holden transferred three hundred dollars from Chase bank account into the TNM bank account and they gave him this transaction number. Well, you could record it in the Chase register as a payment or you could record it in the TNM register as a deposit. That's the way we'll do it in this video. We open the TNM register from the icon bar and we'll put in the date July 6. Then of course we'll put in the transaction number that the bank gave him which is 11233. 11233. Now because it's a deposit we don't need a payee. However, the most important field in this transaction is the account. If the money is coming into TNM from another account, then that's the account you choose right here in the account field. Click the arrow, scroll all the way up, and choose Chase Bank. So the money is coming into the TNM bank from the Chase Bank account. And again, because the money's coming in to TNM, we would put that 300 in the deposit column. Now, at the moment I record this deposit, you will notice the balance of TNM will go up to 1700, but if you look at the balance of Chase, at the moment I record this, the balance of Chase Bank will go down to 2400. Let's take a look. I click record. Now notice the balance of TNM went up to 1700 and when I go over to Chase Bank not only did the balance go down to 2400 but the transaction that I just recorded a moment ago in the TNM register QuickBooks automatically copied to the Chase Bank register Notice that in the TNM register for this July 6 transaction we chose Chase Bank as the account and when QuickBooks copied it to the Chase register it put TNM as the other account in the transaction. That's why there's no difference between which register you record the transfer in. Let's try one more example just to be sure. See if you can predict what the results will be after you record the transaction. July 7, Holden transferred $400 from the Chase Bank account to his PayPal account and this is the transaction number that they gave him. Well, you could record it as a check from the Chase Bank register, 
but in this video instead we will record it as a deposit into the PayPal account so from the we can close out the other two registers and from the icon bar we can click the PayPal register this is our first PayPal example and it says July 7 so on July 7 transaction number 191919 now again because there's a deposit we do not have to put a payee can you guess which account we will put in this field well the money is coming into the PayPal account from the Chase Bank account and of course from the point of view of PayPal this is a deposit because this transaction increases the PayPal bank account the amount was 400 now at the moment we click record PayPal's balance will become 400 but the Chase Bank account will go down to 2000 so in the PayPal register we click record and notice PayPal now has a balance of $400 and the Chase Bank account only has a balance of 2000 you can see the balance of all your accounts in the trial balance and now PayPal showed up for the first time in the trial balance with a balance of four hundred dollars